the word of god is alive and powerful sharper than any two edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow and it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart all scripture is god breathed and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness that the man of god might be mature thoroughly furnished unto all good works study to show thyself approved unto god a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth or accurately handling the word of truth dear brethren the great privilege for us in ephesians 4 when we divide the chapters into two divisions the first three chapters that god has made us a saint and the next three chapters from 4 to 6 how we have to live a saintly life therefore it is very much essential for us to note that as we walk along and get along in this unique dispensation of the church age the true importance of bible doctrine the true importance of bible doctrine where with the true work of a pastor teacher being laid down upon his shoulders to know and to understand that he has to make a great business to jehovah with the ministry of lord god the holy spirit so that now he can understand the true reality of the word but many of the people have failed to look and in fact even consider the true importance of bible doctrine therefore dear brethren think over these issues because how to live a saintly life without the teaching ministry of the pastor teacher where within return the teaching ministry of lord god the holy spirit to that pastor teacher so that he can dig you the truth and make you to know the real wealth the real life the real worth that has been given in christ for us therefore dear brother and think over these issues as we shall continue in the next tape father great for the privilege that was given to follow us through the word we pray that god god the holy spirit lend us on these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge sovereign lord for we ask it in christ's name father amen